Okay, we're going to look at testimonials by WooThings again. You notice that I do use a lot of the WooThings plugins. Um, well, you know what they said about doing was to to build a suite of plugins that most people will use, and uh, and they've got a good user base. They've got a great team, uh, and, and well, so, and and their plugins are well supported. And that's why I use them because they're well supported. Uh, they do make some mistakes, but they're updated reasonably quickly. So the testimonials plugin, you can upload it again uh, if you download it from the uh, testimonials by WooThemes from their website or from uh, from WordPress. Um, uh, you can just up download it from there. You can see it's been up updated quite regularly. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, activate the, the plugin, and you'll see that it'll appear here in the sidebar once it's been activated. Okay. So here we go, the testimonials, okay? So it, it's a very basic uh, sort of plugin, but it, it serves its purpose well. So we're going to add a new testimonial. Okay, so we're going to put the customer's name, which is me. And we're going to put a little bit of a quote in there, but I'm just going to grab it from the Laura Mipsum code as per usual. Something pretty short. Okay, and then I add that there. Um, and then you can have a category. So you can say clients suppliers, whatever, um, have a category, an attribute, you can, and the the order with Woo is from top to bottom, so the higher the number, the higher it appears, okay, and you can use a featured image, which I'll use from the library here, it'll cut, it'll crop that quite significantly, and you can use the Gravatar email address, you can say uh, CEO and founder, and you can link to their website. The URLs have got to be pretty short because they do look pretty crappy if they're long. But anyway, so what we've done is we've created the name of the person. We have a little quote. Uh, don't worry about putting quote marks around them. That just looks silly because it already does it anyway. Um, you can put the Gravatar address in. If you put the Gravatar address in and it has a live image with the Gravatar, it will, uh, that will appear and you won't need to put the featured image there. Uh, see our founder. So you can put the image of the person, but if it's a company that's making the, the testimonial, well, then you can put the logo of the company. Okay, they'll all be styled pretty small anyway, so it won't make much of a difference. So let's publish this. Now, as always with these plugins uh, from Woo, uh, it gives you the option of having a short code. Um, and let's go with the testimonials by Woo here. You'll see that the um, FAQ, sorry, other notes, which will give you the you can either have it controlled within your um, within your theme, um, or your child theme, or you can just use the short code. So we're just going to create a page called testimonials on the site. Um, so I just go to new page, and we'll create a testimonials page. And then in the text editor again, I put the testimonial short code. You can put some uh, it, again with uh, with this, you can put a little bit of text at the uh, above that short code to explain what it is all about, okay? And and then you just click publish, uh, and and what will happen is, depending on your theme, it might look a little bit crappy, and you, you might have to uh, get your designer or your design uh, in your child theme to style a little bit. But you'll see there it is the testimonial. Now it's going to look different in the sidebar. I'm going to show you the widget now. So you go to the widgets. And you can have multiple testimonials, of course. And we go here to testimonials. We'll, we'll drop it in here. As I've only got one, I'll just say one. Okay, I can um, testimonials per row one. Uh, image size, 50 pixels, that's fine. Um, and then I'll just save that. You can specify the order and, uh, and stuff like that. You can have it random if you've got more than one. And then we'll basically go to the, to the, uh, to the website and you'll see uh, the testimonial and there. See, it's just not styled very nicely. Um, but that's not Woo's fault. That's up to you to style it, um, uh, how you want to style it. I would have uh, I would have that little icon probably appearing up here um, and then the information below that. Uh, but that's pretty much how the, the Woo testimonials, theme, uh, testimonials plugin works. It's pretty adaptable. You can have it... For instance, if you've got a home page, it's got a widget area, you can have one, two, three, four, five testimonials across. And, it, and uh, if you purchased a Woo theme, it'll probably look pretty nice uh, like that. But um, the plugin works pretty much with any website. You just might need to do a bit of styling in your child theme to make it look good. Okay, so that's the testimonials uh, plugin from Woo Themes.